Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to publish an ASP.NET Core 5.0 application to the IIS Internet Information Services on Windows 10. Okay, so if you are using ASP.NET Framework to develop your website, it will be easier for you to publish the source code from Visual Studio to the IIS. But when you are using ASP.NET Core 5.0, so it would be a little bit difficult when you have published the source code from the Visual Studio to the IIS service. In this video today, I will guide you step by step on how to resolve it. Let's get started. Firstly, you need to make sure that you already installed the IIS service. On your PC, you go to the control panel and program. In the program, under program and features, you click on turn window feature on or off. It will open up the window features dialog where you can see we have the some of these services and feature already enabled here. You take a look into the Internet Information Services. You click on the plus button to expand this one. And you go ahead to select all of the feature inside the Internet Information Services, like this one. On my PC, I already select all of the feature. And, and if you scroll it down, we should also enable the Internet Information Services hot able web call. You go to the top. If you also want to run some the .NET Framework 3.5, it could be include the .NET 2.0 and 3.0. So you also should enable both feature here. And then the last step, you click on OK button to perform the action. It will automatically get some of the necessary file from the internet and then install it on the PC. After the iteration is done, you open the browser and you type in the local hot on the PC, enter. And then you can see the internet information services is running on the PC. If you can see this screen on the browser, that means you have thus enabled the IIS on the Windows 10 successfully. After you install IIS on this PC, you can open the this PC and go to the C drive. We have a new folder in INETPUB has been created. In INETPUB folder, we have roots folder. This folder will be using to put the shortcode and running is on the list of the IS server. The IIS start.htm. This is the HTML file of the default IS on this PC. Okay. So now I'm assume you already installed the IS on your PC successfully. The next step, I will open the Visual Studio. I will create a new Donate Core project. I will select the Donate Core. Next, I will left this one by default. Donate Core and select the version E Core 5.0. This is the latest version of the Donate Core for now. You select ASP Donate Core Web Application Model View Controller option. Click on Create button. The project is creating. It will open up the solution in the Visual Studio. You take a look into the solution explorer. This is a solution name, and underneath the solution name, we have the project name. So now click on I have Express button to run this project. This is the default template when we are using the Visual Studio to create. Uh, AP Donate Core MVC project. So now, in this uh, running website, 
via the ad he pressed in the Rizzo Studio show. I will guide you how to do some the setting in Visual Studio and publish the code to the IIS server. Close this one. And you right click on the web application one and select the publish. In the publish, we have a lot of the option. Azure Docker folder, FTP web server, or even import profile. Because for now, we want to publish and deploy the website into the IIS. So I will select the web server, EIS. Next. The method will be the web deploy. It will help us to publish the application code to IIS using web deploy. Next. On this step, you have to do some of the configuration for the IIS server, provide the server name, sign name, destination URL. And before we complete this one, we need to do some of the setting in the IIS server. Let me open the IIS server. Click on start button. You type in internet, internet information services manager. It will open the Internet Information Services Manager window. By default, after you install the IIS on this PC, it has only default side. So now I will open the INET path folder first, and I will create a new folder here. Testing folder. And then in the testing folder, I will create a HTML file. I will edit this one. Delete it. Hello from Chin Viet. Save it and close it. And you back to the Internet Information Service Manager. You right click on the sign at website. I will have the testing dot logo. So physical part, I will select the folder. We have the credits in the INET app folder. Testing. So hot name, I will copy the same for this sign name. Click on OK button. Yeah. So here, after you create this website, it will also have to create the application phone. This one, that is logo. Let me minimize this one. And then I will try to open the browser. Paste the link here. HTTP getting.local. We cannot open this website. It seems for now we need to have some more configuration to make website running. So you have to open the window. System three, two. Scroll it down and go to drive. In driver folder, you click on etc. This is the hot file. Right click on this hot file. You scroll it down, and we need to define an alias here. I will have the that. Thing not local. So now, in this apply in the local hot, we can use the setting not local hot to access the website. Open this one. Setting not local. Yeah. So. You can see, hello from Tien Viet message. That means for now, you already set up the Internet Information Services and also the testing website successfully on this PC. The last step, you back to the Visual Studio. 
for the server, you provide the maybe local hot sign name getting dot local destination URL. This one we don't have the username and password, so that this one is blank, and then click on finish button. It will create some the profile here for you. You can see summary information, the website, MS deploy, launch website after publish it to the yeah, release, and if CPU testing dot local. So now I will go ahead to click on publish button here to start view the code and then we publish the short code to the IIS folder. Publish. This is a warning message. It says that we need to run the Visual Studio under administrator mode to perform the deployment action. Yeah. Close this one. Back to the desktop. And this is the icon of Visual Studio 2019 on my PC. You right click on this and you see we have option in run at administrator. Yes. And then you open up again for the web application one. You right click on the project and select the publish. You click on publish button here. Yeah. So for now, you are able to view and deploy the goes to the IIS folder. After we publish the source code to the testing folder in the root folder, you see that we run the website and get the internal server error. It seems we have some the issue with our website for now. Close this one. And let me open the folder testing. Let me delete the HTML file first. And you see that after we Publish the short code from the Visual Studio into this folder. All of the short code will be copied here. In the root folder, we have some the library of our website. And then another thing will be compressed into the DL file. You remember uh, I said in the beginning of this video, when we publish the short code from the Visual Studio to the IIS folder by using ASP.NET Core 5.0, so it will have a little bit difference when we publish the AP.NET framework. So we need to install the .NET Core hosting bundle in order to run the AP.NET Core on the IIS server. Copy this link, or you can also tie in the .NET Core hosting bundle in the Google. Open this one. You click on current .NET Core hosting bundle installer. It will navigate you to the download website. The current version is the ASP.NET Core 5.0 runtime version 5.0.2. Click on download here for manually. Okay. So file has been downloaded successfully on my PC. Click on setup file to install this on my PC. Click on I agree checkbox and then click on install button. Microsoft.net Core Windows Server Hosting. Installation is completed successfully. Click on close button. And then you tie in again for the testing HTTP slash slash. Testing not local. Yeah. And then for now, in this of seeing the error message, you can see the website running for now. Privacy home page. Okay, so let me come back to Visual Studio. And I will try to modify something here in the home page. In that welcome from Chien VA. And then publish it. Okay. And you see that we have a welcome from GNVF message. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after if you need this video, you know how to do some of the configuration.
to deploy the short code from the Visual Studio 2019 to the IIS for ASP.NET Core 5.0. Okay, I hope this video will have fun for you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.